Hey guys, welcome to Motion Embassy. My name is Chris and today we're going to take a look at how to create better, more realistic looking glow effects inside Adobe After Effects. So to the left we can see the standard glow effect applied to a layer. And on the right side we can see the effect we want to achieve today. It has a much nicer light fall off and you get these really nice looking highlights. And what I tried to do is mimic how light falls off in the real world. And in the real world, if we take a look at Wikipedia, light falls off in an inverse square way and not in a linear way. So basically it means if you double the distance from the light source, you don't get half the light intensity, you get a quarter of the intensity. And if you triple the distance, you don't get a third of the intensity, you get a ninth of the intensity and so on and so forth. So if we take a look at our example here, we have a really high intensity uh, on the inside and on the outside the intensity drops off quite a bit. In comparison to the standard glow, it has a much more linear look to it. And I do want to point out that we are in a 32-bit project here. And the cool thing about this glow method is it even works in 8 or 16 bit. So if we change the project setting to let's say 16 bit, you can see it still looks completely the same. Whereas the standard glow effect is completely messed up. And you can tweak the settings, boost the intensity and play with the radius, but you won't get any result that's good looking. So let's create this effect from the beginning. I'll take the text tool and write glow. I'm gonna duplicate the layer and set the transfer mode to add. And now I'm gonna apply the fast box blur effect. And as we increase the radius, you can already see a basic glow effect going on here. But in order to get this realistic fall off, I'm gonna duplicate this layer five more times. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna adjust the blur radius on each one of them. So for the first one, I'll set the value to 66. For the second one to 27 third one to 12, next one to 4, the next radius to 1, and on the last layer I'm going to delete the box blur. And now I'm going to create an adjustment layer and apply the exposure effect. And with this we can control the intensity of the glow. But as we increase the value you can see we lose the color. And that's not what we want. And that's because we still have transparency in our scene. And glows and color correction tools work best if you don't have transparency. So what we're going to do is create a black solid. Drag it right to the bottom. And now you can see we still have the nice looking color. And now we can adjust the glow intensity. But with all these layers it's quite difficult to copy and paste this effect to other layers, other compositions or even other projects. So what we will try to do is create this effect in one single layer. And we'll make a preset out of it so we can reuse it again and again. So I'm going to delete everything except our text layer. And the first thing I want to apply is a solid composite effect. And set the color to black. And basically it's like pre-comping the text layer with a black solid. So now we can add our fast box blur effect. And set the radius to 66 like before. And in order to get a copy of this layer on top of it without copying the layer itself, I'm going to use an effect that's called CC Composite. 
and I'm gonna set the transfer mode to add and this effect takes the original layer before any effects were applied and puts it on top of itself and with this technique we can copy these two effects and stack up our fast box blur effects so I'm gonna duplicate it bring it to the bottom we can change the blur radius here to 27 duplicate those two again bring it to the bottom change it to 12 duplicate it again change the radius to 4 and one more time change the radius to 1 so now we can add our exposure effect like before and it works fine but when we go into the minus the layer slowly disappears and we can avoid this by dragging the exposure effect before the last CC composite effect. So we've still got a copy of the original layer on top of it. And now we can animate the glow on and off. That's pretty cool. And we can even add an expression to add flickering to the glow. But for this tutorial, um, we're not going to do this. But in order to change the radius of the glow, we don't want to come in here and change every single radius. So we're going to link them up together with expressions. And this radius, this blur radius, is going to be our master controller. So when I change this value, all of these values are going to change accordingly. So I'm going to alt-click the stopwatch and pick whip this value and multiply it by 4. I'm gonna copy the expression and I'll click on the next blur radius and paste the expression in here and multiply by 12. I'm gonna all click the next blur radius, paste and multiply by 27 and I'll click the next radius, paste and multiply by 66. So now the look hasn't changed, but when I change the master blur radius, let's say to 0.5, all the other values change accordingly. And now we can easily control the radius of our glow. So we can make a really tight glow, but I like how it looks like when setting the blur radius to one. And now we can make a preset out of this by selecting all of the effects and going to effects and presets, hit save animation preset. And I've already saved it as a realistic glow. Just hit save. And now when we go into another comp or even another project, here I've got some basic particles set up. We can just come in here to our animation presets, user presets, and drag and drop our preset on top of it, and we immediately get our nice looking realistic glow effect. And we can change the exposure and our blur radius, and it looks pretty good. So this sums up this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please share with your friends and subscribe to this channel. See you next time. Bye.